First Warn 5 Weather with Matt Holliner. 6.42 this morning, and this is estimated rainfall over the last two days. Uh, though it's been hot in the valley, we've been lucky to be dry. I mean, look at how much of the Gulf Coast has seen rain. Uh, think of all the people that are, have beach plans along the Florida West Coast, uh, along Louisiana Coast. There have been showers and thunderstorms, even in East Texas. So really, we've had the best beach weather all weekend long, and that continues today uh, where the storm surge and the wind threat is going to be highest today, especially in the Florida Panhandle. It'll just terrible Memorial Day weather uh, and uh, I expect the especially in this area uh, southern Alabama central Alabama those rainfall amounts are going to be going up today as that tropical system finally makes a landfall all those rainfall amounts are going to be going up you can see where it is right now and that's going to make landfall this afternoon uh, it looks like in the Florida Panhandle and then we'll slowly continue up to the north so there's going to be heavy rain in parts of the southeast on into the Ohio Valley uh, for the Day, for days. We're talking about even through Thursday, the rain will still be coming down. Meanwhile, <laughs> most of Texas is dry right now, and we are going to be staying dry. The question is, is there going to be any relief from the heat? Uh, not really. I hate to say it. <laughs> There's going to be a little bit of fog early this morning, maybe still a little bit at 8 a.m., but by 9, any fog that's out there is going to be gone. For the rest of the day, I think it's going to be mostly sunny. I think there'll be a few more clouds in the lower valley uh, than the upper valley. Uh, a sea breeze is going to attempt to set up, but unlike what we saw last week, we're not going to see any showers. There'll be a little bit of an increase in cloud cover, and that's it. And there'll be a few clouds today in the upper valley, but not much. And the heat index today over much of the valley is going to peak around 104. A very hot day. Uh, any better tomorrow? Well, we're going to start out partly cloudy. I don't think there's going to be fog tomorrow. I think there's going to be just a little bit more of a breeze that will keep the fog at bay. But there will be some low-level clouds to start today. Much of the day, though, looks mostly sunny. And the heat index is forecast to be 104 once again. Let's talk about Wednesday uh, as folks are going to work or school in the morning. There will be uh, partly cloudy skies around. Once again, they'll thin out. It'll be mostly sunny. And once again, the heat index is going to be around 104. But at least it'll be breezy. I think a little bit more over the next couple of days. So the breeze always helps a little bit, uh, but it can only help so much. It's still going to be pretty unpleasant out there. 100 uh, is what we're forecasting today. Some places are going to set new record highs. That is way above normal. We should be in the low 90s this time of year. Nope, not happening today, and it's going to feel worse. Factor in the humidity, it's going to feel like 104 and a normal breeze for this time of year. 10 to 15 mile per hour winds uh, during the afternoon. Mostly clear skies for much of the night, but late tonight, I do think it's going to get partly cloudy. We're going to see lows around 75 uh, and that wind just staying around five miles per hour. So that should keep the fog at bay. Uh, taking a look at the next seven days, uh, I know it looks like, oh, maybe we're cooling down. But actually, no, as I said, the heat index is going to be at 104 all three days. The only reason we get a little bit cooler is just because the humidity gets worse. Uh, and then we're going to stay around 98, 99 Thursday and Friday. At least we have a couple days where we're going to notice that breeze a little bit more. Uh, if there's going to be a day that's cloudier, it's going to be Thursday. I think partly cloudy skies. Otherwise, mostly sunny and notice that for next weekend, it looks like the triple digits once again and still feeling like the mid 100s.